Welcome back to another adventure. Super excited today. We're on a new body of water and I'm doing a series called Explore Arkansas. So this is stop number two. Uh, I was at the Caddo last time. Today I'm at Big Piney Creek. I know one thing for sure, I am getting wet. But my goal is to get on some smallmouth as well. So what I'm gonna start out with today on my new rod, I got the Supreme jig on that just looks so juicy, kind of green pumpkin with some orange, just a standard crawfish pattern. And then I have old trusty on just to cover water and find some fish quickly. And that is this uh, spinner bait by War Eagle. But we are doing five miles a day. We're floating um, from this section down to twin bridges. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be squirrely, it's gonna get wet, but hopefully we can find a pattern and get on some smallmouth as well. I just had a company reach out to me to review their net. So they just sent me this awesome telescoping collapsible net and it floats. I'll show you how that works here shortly, but I am excited about it. It's got a nice opening. I'm thinking this area here, it's got some type of foam in here. It's gonna keep it above water. Just in case I take a spill today, which is likely to happen, I'll still be able to retrieve my net. Now I can leash it to my kayak as well on my pad ice. So it's got an awesome leash as well. But most of the time I'll leave it free. That way I can grab it and work both sides of my boat. That way I don't get caught in a mess. So super excited about this net. We'll give it a full send today and let you know how it goes. Um, definitely excited about it folding up because my other one took up a lot of space. I loved it. And you know, I definitely got the treble hook snagged in a few times. This netting on here is supposed to be snag free. So we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know. But anyways, I have a discount code in the description below. You can get 20% off of this net today. So definitely check out the link. All right, so we got five miles of cover, enough talking. Let's explore this new body of water and hopefully get on a smallmouth or two. Stay tuned and I'll meet you downstream. Let's get it. Shark, when is that landed? Thanks for all fun fish. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Another stun fish. On the spinner bait. Not sure if you can hear me, but I just finally caught a smallmouth on this river. Long and skinny one. Came off that uh, Supreme jig. I barely had him pinned. Beautiful little fish, probably just 11 inches. We'll let him go. Oh. Hey. Hey, 
Oh, fish on. No. Popped off. Thanks, damn it. Oh, right there. This fish, a little fun fish. Keep pegging it. Thank you, Scott. Fish on. Yep, a little sunfish on the jig. Oh, yeah. Wearing out the green sunfish. Good old Chick-fil-A put a smile on my face. The fishing was poor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this trip didn't turn out so well as far as the fishing goes. Now exploring a new area, uh, you know, rapids, it was a beautiful day, all that was awesome. But the water was just a little too dingy, unfortunately. I only had a few hours to explore today, uh, just because my truck was in the shop and I went and picked it up and I was like, oh. I got just enough time to do this short little float. I did test out that new net. I really like that net. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't scoop anything larger than 12 inches today. So I didn't put a full two, three, four pounder in there to really give it a full send. But uh, I am happy that it has a leash on it. It floats. It's got a pretty wide mouth. That way it would take a bigger fish. Inexpensive, like I said in the description below, I have a 20% off discount code. Use that and get you one of these nets. Uh, definitely floats. So I left it in the water for a few minutes there and it was just floating. I went and grabbed it and paddled upstream. It's pretty awesome. So uh, shout out to Plusuno. I probably butchered that name, but that's the name of the company. They also have some other stuff on their website, uh, you know, whopper ploppers, stuff like that. So a lot of good little fishing stuff. Uh, I had high expectations, but when I got there, the water was just a little too dingy. I think that stream normally is clear for the fishing, but that's okay. Uh, at least the wind wasn't bad today, thank goodness, like the Caddo trip. That wind was brutal. I hit a few spots where the wind was picking up a little bit, but the current today kept me on pace and I didn't have to worry about it too much. I had so much rain last week, all these uh, riverways are still flooded. They haven't got down they've crest but they haven't got back to normal just yet so anyways once these streams get back to normal and they clear up a little bit i think the fishing is going to be immaculate and i'm going to be throwing that whopper plopper like crazy now i got some new baits too so stay tuned and thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next adventure